Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is gonna be your love reading for January 2020, the 1st through the 15th, okay? So sorry I didn't get to your reading, you guys, at the end of December, but here we are, clean slate. Um, I do want to say I am gonna add a little bonus, so stay till the end of the video so I can do your no contact since I promised you guys an extra. Um, and also for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, Mwah. love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, trying me out. I am a psychic medium. I read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move, move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, clairaudient, and a medium. I will leave all my information below to book a personal reading, you guys. If you don't hear back from me right away, give me some time. That means I'm booked, okay? The best way to get a hold of me is through Instagram, you guys. But again, if I'm booked, I probably won't be able to respond. Um, and yeah, please check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I do manifestation tips with crystals. I offer a lot of spiritual guidance, you guys. So it's something cool to look at if you want to check me out. Thank you so much for donations so far, you guys. Also, if you would like to donate or if you would like to send me decks, you can. I have all that information below. Let's get started. So let me get the vibe here, Pisces. So Pisces, I feel like the beginning of um, January is going to be an incredible amount of transformational energy, which means everything you have been working towards in your life in terms of, you know, gaining more clarity around relationships, you're going to have a breakthrough. It's like an enormous amount of air energy is surrounding the collective for Pisces, okay? You guys have been a bit in a, like kind of in a standstill, kind of feeling a little stuck or feeling um, stuck in the past for some of my Pisces. And I feel as we jump into Capricorn season, the beginning of January, I see an enormous amount of clarity around your heart space, which direction to go and what kind of purpose you're really aligning yourself with in terms of your heart, okay? I am seeing that some of you guys are going to be um, meeting a DJ or someone named DJ. Um, this person is definitely someone who is creative, someone who is creatively inclined. Pisces 2020, January 1st, 15th love. They are creatively inclined and I feel like this person is going to offer you a lot of inspiration, okay? I feel like this person may be another water sign, a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let me get a card for you guys, love, please. Thank you. Yeah, so there's going to be an abundant amount of love for my Pisceans, okay? The beginning of January. Again, it's like you're coming out of a very, like, dark space and I feel like you're finally listening to your intuition especially with that moon some of you guys especially with this uh, Capricorn new moon energy on the 26th of December you're going to get an epiphany about your love about your love life it's like an aha moment you're gonna be like whoa yeah it's like you're really tuning into your path and not just in love, but in general. It's almost like an inner knowing of where to go, of what what your next move should be. Some of you guys are actually going to move or travel for um, a new love offer. I don't feel like this is overnight. I feel like this is something you guys have talked about. Like you guys are planning a new life. You and this person are gonna plan a new life if you're seeing a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like you guys are making plans to um, live in the same area. It's like you've committed yourself to this journey with this person and I feel like you guys may have been at a distance and everything is kind of coming clear for you in matters of love, okay? So I feel like, again, there's a lot of clarity. And for some, you know, Pisces are going to make decisions that may not make everyone happy. And that's something that you guys have to kind of deal with is knowing that you can't always make everyone happy. 
Um, in my experience, Pisces people are so sweet and kind. Even the Pisces who are not really evolved, even then, you guys don't want to hurt people. Like, you would rather run away from the situation than hurt someone, okay? Um, I don't think that your prerogative is to, like, purposely hurt people unless there's an issue of trauma and like a lack of evolution but you guys when you love you really surrender yourself in ways that other signs can probably envy because it's like a soul experience for Pisces it's never just a physical even if they say it's just sex like it's never just that for a Piscean a Piscean will always always for the most part embrace an emotional aspect of this like a physical connection with anyone okay so I feel like you guys are learning how to set boundaries around connections, yourself, how to set boundaries with other people and how they treat you, the reciprocity, the give and take of, of a connection. And you're not allowing people in your life to just sit and take from you anymore, okay? And you're awakening to an abundant amount of energy, of focus. You're making clear decisions on who you want to be with. Because I feel some of my Pisces have been kind of juggling a few options. The 1st through the 15th, you're going to get real clear about who you want to be with, okay? I will say, though, there is a slight imbalance in your emotions in terms of making choices. Because, you know, you guys are a sign that... Um, you can love more than one partner uh, traditionally, like you really could, because a Pisces, <laughs> you guys have a very endless like imagination, and in my experience, Pisceans are the ones to actually are more comfortable to end up in non-monogamous open relationships because of your expansion of your mind and your psyche and your ability to see that in a lot of cases love is universal in some ways you know I I've always had this conversation with people that um, I always ask people you know in my circle I say do you think that loyalty monogamy I'm sorry not loyalty do you think that monogamy is something us humans were made to do or is this socially constructed and it's something that we're forced to do to kind of have order, right, in our lives. Um, I personally feel like monogamy is something that we have socially constructed in order to kind of have a system in relationships, something that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the type to want to share my man because I'm a Leo, right? We, we, don't, we don't share. But, you know, kind of taking on a more expansive perspective about relationships, I do feel that naturally there's such a high rate of um, infidelity. There's a super high rate of infidelity in marriages, in relationships, because a part of me feels like possessing someone or having restrictions is almost going against human behavior, but or our human psyche, right? But that's that's you know, I feel like you guys may be kind of thinking about that in January. Like, what does love mean to you? Is monogamy for you? Or is it something that you want to kind of step out of? And I know that sounds really intense, but some of my Pisces are really exploring this side of yourself. All right, love. Pisces, January 1st through the 15th. <laughs> wow. So someone's offering you a cup. Are you going to take it? <laughs> Pisces is like, mm, what's in there? Are my dreams in there? Are you going to write me some poems? What's in there? <laughs> wow, that's wild. This is your first card, you guys. So, okay. Yeah. So for some of you, you're getting real clear on what you want and you're going to go for it. You're making decisions to, again, um, get into relationships with a fire sign or a water sign. There's a new adventure for the rest of the collective. You're feeling kind of like what? What cup? Wow. I just feel like it's almost like you're kind of in a place where 
some of you have been remaining stagnant in a loop of a relationship, especially um, with the potential Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you guys have definitely um, been in a like stagnant cycle with an air sign from the past. Again, I said you had options. You definitely have options. You have this air sign, but it's like a cycle. And I think you guys are ready to close out that cycle with an air sign. Cross watchers, if that does not sound like your, your uh, storyline with your Pisces, please don't get upset. That just means it's not for you. Okay, let it go. This is only for the people who um, Pisces are dealing with off and on. I feel like you're just ready for something new. You're looking away from this offer. I feel like a lot of my Pisces right now, you're like looking away from this cup being offered to you. For some of you, there is a water sign you may be in love with or you're really like, you're, you're uh, fantasizing about a water sign, but they're looking away from this offer right now. So take it how it resonates, okay? Yeah, you guys are starting new. You're being a little more cautious about who you're giving your love to. I feel like there are children involved for some of you, so you're kind of taking your time on who you're going to kind of choose. Pisces in love. Who is this stuff card? So yeah, I, I feel a lot of you guys, so there is an energy here of um, assessing, assessment, you're assessing, again, kind of going back to the rant that I just said about monogamy and about love in general. I feel like a lot of you guys are really asking yourself really deep, meaningful questions about relationships because you have noticed an enormous amount of dysfunction in the past. There has been a lot of disorder is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing disorder with your relationships, feeling taken for granted or feeling kind of like things have been stagnant, they don't make sense to you, or you feel like things have been unrequited for you, like you love someone but they don't love you back, and you're kind of just at a standstill and you're like, what is the meaning of this journey? Like you guys are literally in your hermit energy of asking spirit really powerful questions about what do these relationships really mean at the end of the day some of you guys are getting really frustrated and you're just like look i know i can have these offers i know i can have these cups but maybe i just don't want it some of you guys are going to choose adventure you're just going to take off you're going to take a break you're going to go, um, you know, really explore and travel. But the main energy of why I feel that a lot of my Pisceans right now are stuck, despite the abundance of love that's going to come in, is because you're not letting something go from the past and you're still holding on to a Leo, maybe a Leo, or you're still holding on to the ideal of an ex-partner. There is an idealism with an ex that the collective is holding onto and you're not letting it come into, like you're not letting it die. So this is causing a lot of stagnation around opportunities moving forward for some. You are gonna take on a new adventure. Again, you're really like exploring adventure. You're ready for something new. You wanna explore something else. Um, you want new love. But this time, you're taking your logic with you. You're taking strong boundaries around who you're going to give to. So I, I just, I again, I feel like there is a little bit of an imbalance in terms of pinpointing what it is that you want from love. But there is an overall a sense of achievement, ac accomplishment in friendships. So a lot of you guys are going to choose to date multiple people at once to figure out, okay, who do I want? What do I want? This for me is the card of um, 
like serial dating. Like you're going to definitely go out there. You're going to go to events. You're going to meet different people. You're going to try out different people. Okay. I don't see a lot of committed energy the beginning of January. I see a lot of playful energy. I see a lot of clarity around your love life. But behind that, Pisces, some of you guys are trying to control an ending that needs to happen, especially if you're dealing with a air sign. This karmic cycle has been looping. It's looping. It's looping. And I think that you know it's over. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're not there yet. But I feel like, yeah. Um, and for the majority, again, I just feel like there is, it's, it's like, it's not so much of apathy. It's just re-evaluation of your values. You're going to really take a very deep meditation about your heart, especially because of prior feelings of disappointment in love. You don't want to repeat old patterns, okay? So that's what I see for that. Again, if you're dealing with a water sign or an, a fire sign, I do see um, talks of commitment here. Like I do see an um, elevation of trust and an elevation of moving forward into something a little more committed, okay? No contact, here we go. Think of your person. Let's find out how they're feeling about you. Your person feels very wounded, so I don't know what's happened between you. I feel both of you guys are feeling a little wounded, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No contact, please. How are they feeling about you? How's this person feeling about you, Pisces? Yeah, exactly. They're trying to control their emotions. They're trying to resist. They're trying to, to tame, which is what I felt. But both of you guys, I feel, are very, are suffering a lot. How's this person feeling about you? This person doesn't want to let you go. I don't think this person really wants to let you go. I just think that there's an energy of feeling wounded right now. There's some wounds. So healing needs to happen. How's this person feeling about you? This could be your soulmate. They've been watching you on social media. Okay. They've definitely been checking you out. They're collecting information about you. This person is a soulmate. Um karmic could be a karmic partner they feel like the past like the past isn't over yet like they still want to revisit something with you they're still stuck on you okay air sign air sign energy aquarius energy again that whole energy of looping through could be a leo as well trying to hold on to you could be a scorpio i'm getting all kinds of energies but they feel like you've walked away from them or, you know, you feel, excuse me, they feel like you've walked away. That's how they feel about you. Um, they feel like they can't really find you. They don't know how you're feeling. They're feeling confused. But they're trying to control themselves from contacting you. This person really wants to contact you. They're ready to offer you something, okay? Like they really want to offer you something, but they, they're losing, they're kind of losing their passion about this. I feel like both of you guys have had a lot of like issues being on the same wavelength. I'm seeing communication that's going in circles. It's like a frustrating amount of communication between you guys. You don't feel understood. This person, I feel strong air sign, you guys. This person doesn't feel understood. There's been a constant clash between you guys. There's a lot of um, incompatibility in terms of communication. And also, it's like you guys aren't seeing each other's love language. I feel like you guys have different love languages and it's frustrating you. I feel like the person you're in no contact with, it's like there's an energy of them trying to get out of a, of a depressive state about you. They're trying to kind of see this from a different perspective because a part of them does miss you. They miss you. They've been watching you. They've been collecting information. Um, there's a lack of passion or delays in terms of sexual energy as well. Like there's kind of like a lack of energy to get this going. And this is like 
really in alignment with the Eight of Cups. So they've walked away from this situation. And there's kind of like an outpour of emotion, like they're tired of arguing. I'm hearing they're tired of arguing. But they also don't want to invest the time into thinking about why things fell apart. So that's kind of where they're at right now with the no contact, okay? Um, I don't know if they're going to come forward, to be honest with you, Pisces. I feel like this person... Um, I don't know for some of you if this person comes forward there's going to be harsh communication okay so give it some time thank you so much bye